I'm Colleen. And I'm Kate. Welcome to our Craft Renewed Adventures. Good afternoon, painters, and welcome to another guided painting lesson. Today we're going to be painting these lovely hydrangea flowers. Uh, when I was a kid, we used to call them snowball bushes, uh, essentially the same thing. And I know it looks complicated, but it's really simple and you're going to love it. Uh, so the first things that we need are a black canvas. Now you can buy canvases that are already uh, painted black, or you could do what I did, painted my white canvas black. If you do this, you're probably going to need about uh, two coats of paint. We're going to need some greens, white, blue, red, yellow paint, which I already have on my palette. Uh, we're going to need some cotton swabs, a piece of chalk, some paint brushes, and bubble wrap. Uh, now you can use, if you have the uh, standard packaging bubble wrap at home, that's great. I did not. I had a uh, padded mailer, so I used a mug or a glass, uh, traced the outline, and cut it out. Uh, so if you're using that kind of bubble wrap, you're going to have to peel front side of the wrapper off to reveal the bubbly part of the bubble wrap. Uh, so now we need to load up our bubble wrap with paint. You need to apply a generous amount, making sure you get in all of the little nooks and crannies of the bubble wrap. This is what's going to give our flower texture. And yes, this is going to get messy. Unless you're a neat painter. I am not necessarily a neat painter once those creative juices get flowing. All craziness breaks loose. Alright, so when you get uh, your bubble wrap loaded up, you're going to decide where you want your flowers to be and press the bubble wrap all around the circles in the middle around the edges to get that paint applied to the canvas when you're done you're going to peel it up okay uh, now we can go on to the next color you need to wash out your brush you get most of that paint out of there. Uh, the next color I'm going to use with a fresh piece of bubble wrap is red. I'm going to apply it just the same way, getting in all the little nooks and crannies of the bubble wrap. And you know, if you get your fingers painted on, remember, Acrylic paint does wash off eventually. It doesn't wash off your clothes very well, but you will get it off your fingers. All around the edges. All right, now we're going to want these flowers to overlap. So I'm going to position it just a little to the right and down a little bit from our first blue flower. Pressing around all the edges in the middle and then peeling it up. Okay, let's rinse our brush out one more time. And next we're going to use the yellow. Get the brush nice and clean. And get this yellow. Okay, a little bit more on the edges here. 
and I'm going to overlap this along the bottom. Once again, we're going to press the bubble wrap into the canvas, making sure we distribute that paint and get it all down there so we have a nice form for the flower. Okay, perfect. Now comes an interesting part because I bet you're wondering what we need those Q-tips for. Our cotton swabs, sorry. Uh, take three or four of them and rubber band them together. Okay, and then we're going to take some of the blue, take a glop of white here, some of the blue, and dab it around the flower. With the white and the blue, you can add some areas that have some darker blue, uh, like a layered effect so it, you know, looks like it's an actual flower. Uh, notice how it's taking, it's taking on some shading. We want to add some highlights to this flower, so we're going to put that over onto one side. A little more white. And just try not to push it in too much or it won't look flower-like. Okay, now that we have the blue done, we are going to do the same thing with the red paint and add some accents and fill in the red. Rubber band those together. Uh, take some white paint, some red paint, dab them together, and then just start dabbing on the red flower. And fill it in. Be afraid to overlap a little bit. You will see some flowers through. And we're going to add a little highlights up on this end. If you feel you need a little more contrast, uh, don't be afraid to go back in and fill in with the red paint. Like so. And then finally, we are going to do the yellow. Rubber band cotton swabs together. Grab some white paint and some of your yellow and fill in. Just dabbing up and down to fill in your flower, give it some texture and the appearance of petals. And don't forget to add the highlights. Seem to have more highlights on this one than the other one, but you know, maybe the sun's hitting that more. All right, starting to look like a little bouquet, isn't it? So to draw the leaves of our um, flower, if you don't want to freehand it, like I don't want to do, use a piece of chalk and just add in where you'd like your leaves to be. And don't worry if you don't paint completely over the chalk because I have a little trick to help you get rid of that chalk at the end. So let's grab two different colors of green. Dark green and a light green. taking uh, the smallish uh, flat brush. I'm going to mix some of the greens together and I'm going to use the uh, skinny side of the brush to draw up one of the little twigs here. So you're going to 
press and lift. Press and lift. To make the leaves, I'm going to put a little bit of yellow on one side of my brush. Do that same thing. Press and lift. I think you need a little more yellow. Go ahead and add it. Same up here. Press and lift. Press and lift. And to give the illusion of some texture on the leaf, be afraid to add a little yellow or even white. For this one I'm going to put a little white on one side of the brush. Fill it in. Might even add a little bit on the other parts. So you see there's a couple different ways you can make your leaves come alive. That might be a little too much yellow, so I'm going to go back with some green, some dark green. And there you have it. Boy, wasn't that fun? And you didn't think you could draw a bouquet of flowers. And you did it in about 15 minutes. Well done, everyone. Don't be afraid to sign your painting. Uh, I did tell you how to, forgot to tell you how to take those chalk marks off, though. Get a brush wet if you didn't cover them all up. Just take a wet brush and go over that chalk and voila, it's gone. So congratulations everyone, well done. Hang it up in your kitchen for a little bit of brightness during the springtime. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's craft. Most projects we demonstrate can be made in under an hour and require a few basic tools or supplies. Have questions or suggestions for future videos? Use the comment section below and we'll add it to our list. Thanks for watching. And remember the makerspace mantra, the only limit is your imagination.